15 of them. Well, Mark, Michael Parkinson, I believe, there, enjoying a day off. Probably be asking a few questions, I'm sure. got a very fierce backhand and he can hit it very flat there is a fairly flat one and this is just lashed past Edberg an off backhand from the left hander unusual inside out Classic backhands of all time, Stefan Edbergs. I suppose you'd rate him almost along with Ken Rosal and Don Budge. thought Stefan Edberg was a little bit unwise to go in then. Okay, first. Edberg leads three games to two. The Thomas Muster showing us how much better he is on grass than he was when he started here at the beginning of the week. And I think, Bill Swelfel, the intriguing thing here is with somebody who is such a fine tennis player, is the time for him playing here and practicing, uh, or rather, I think he's playing in um, Halle next week, is the time for him to make an impression as perhaps the number two, three, four, or even five seed at Wimbledon. It depends what happens on Monday. Well, I must say, John, at the beginning of this week, I thought absolutely no way. And halfway through his match with uh, Raoul um, in, in his first round, Worcester's first round here, when he really struggled to get through in a tie-break final set, I thought absolutely no way. I mean, it, should he be seeded at all, for example, at Wimbledon? I'm now not sure that he couldn't win the tournament. I mean, it's just unbelievable the way he's adapted on grass. He's lashing these passing courts, these passing shots around. And he's even volleyed pretty uh, well, and we've seen him play that one exceptional point near the net. And so uh, he's a sort of animal on court. He's, he's growing with the grass here, and uh, I don't know what, I, what he can do. He could win this tournament, certainly. I don't know that he'll win this match, but he's proving very, very good and very adaptable. And he's fun to watch. Yeah. 15. Yeah. Kept that very low, that return, which is exactly what you try and do against a man who's going to be coming in all the time. Yes, yeah, that's the first uh, of what may be several footballs today. Well, I think this shows speed of thought and movement by Muster, which again is exceptional. He plays that as a drive volley almost on the deck. I mean, that was another unbelievable shot. I don't think I've ever seen that shot played by anybody, including Agassi. Oh, well, they, even that's in. Well, he may apologize, but he'll take it. Oh, 
Well, now, two points to break back. Okay, nice. Three games all. Well, what a lovely game for Muster, making life difficult for the server with the top spin on the return, dipping, and the first volley of Edberg really defensive, and the passing shot absolutely lethal. Three all. So never rule out a good match player, even though he may be on an unfamiliar surface. I think that was good, you know. Must have disappointed. On your side. Well, look, decide for yourself whether this is in or out. I don't think much doubt about it. That's just out. Forward. Yes, we're right behind that line. I'm afraid it was out. Ronnie Lightgib there, the coach and manager of Thomas Muster, who was so supportive in those painful, literally, months of rehabilitation in 1989. 30, 40. character this Thomas Muster is as you suggested he's fun to watch and I think it was a little unfair of Pete Sampras and Andre Agassi to suggest that when he became the world number one as he did last March uh, February rather uh, that he wasn't a worthy world number one yeah well I think so too and I, th I think so increasingly uh, having watched him this week and also the fact that uh, was it not him that beat uh, Pete Sampras to win a to win a indoor carpet tournament and uh, beat him comprehensively in fact he destroyed Sampras and uh, he won a title there so he is a versatile player to play on all surfaces and here he is here he is playing another exceptional point this is uh, on Edberg's serve look he's Time. well behind the baseline here but he decides to come forward and this is where he plays that extraordinary shot that's about two inches above the grass and to play a drive volley which does need topspin from that sort of position, with the ball two inches above the grass, shows really exceptional skill. Thank you. But Edberg temporarily at least back in the driving seat, ahead with a break of serve again at 4-3. Fifteen. 
Thirty Club. Oh, yes. So graceful to watch. And he comes in and punches these volleys, skipping little steps sideways, beautifully balanced, and a little jog to the right there in case it had come back. Typical Edberg point. with his first love game so Edberg warming to the task on a lovely warm summer's afternoon at Queen's Club the sort of afternoon that seems was made for tennis This pulls Muster wide, and then Muster fails to get his feet sorted out here. <laughs> can't, can't get them moving to get back. He would have done if he can. He never quits on a point. Change of tactics there by Muster, attempting the lob. That one was short. He lobbed very well yesterday, Muster, in his match. Forty-thirty. Yes, coming in behind a good sliced approach, keeping the ball low. Copybook grass court tennis. Forcing the error. Thank you. 